Hello everybody. This is probably the 11th video on trigonometry. In this video, I will be explaining about a unique question. At the end of this video, I'm quite sure that your confusion will get completely clear. So you are observing our today's question on the screen. And it's uh, on the left side, it is sine square A plus sine square B plus sine square C. Similarly, on the right side, we have 2 plus 2 cos A into cos B into cos C. So, taking LHS as usually we do, we'll start our solution. So, this is our left hand side and then uh, this is a little bit a different question as i have already already told you that uh, this is a unique question that we are discussing today about and uh, here this sign square a can be converted into a formula following this table so you might have learned the formula of cos 2 a as 1 minus 2 sin square a so when you bring this minus 2 sin square a on the left side it will be plus 2 sin square a and then when you bring this cos 2 a on the right side then that will be equals to minus 2 cos a and 1 it is already on the right side so that means uh, we can exchange cos 2 a and minus 2 sin square a and then um, it, it becomes 2 sin square a minus 1 sorry is equals to minus 2 minus cos 2a and finally that will be sin square a is equals to 1 minus cos 2a whole divided by 2. So we will be writing the same following the formula that is 1 minus cos 2a by 2 that is from this formula so in the same way we will be writing sin square b as 1 minus cos 2 b whole divided by 2 so these two are following the same formula same same rule and then sin square c that we will copy the same so moving to the next step we will take lcm from these two factors so we have denominator 2 on the first factor and again 2 on the second factor also so we'll take 2 as lcm and then uh, there remains 1 minus cos 2a as a numerator on the first factor similarly 1 minus cos 2b in the on the second factor sin square c we are not changing this uh, till now moving to the next step we, uh, we can take 1 common from uh, these whole terms and 2 that is LCM and we take 1 and divide by 2 from th these steps from from these this this parts so it will be 1 by 2 and then when we add 1 and this one it will be 2 so I hope you are clear with this number. Uh, this is not the common one. It is actually the we uh, we can always write one uh, whenever needed. So since it is uh, multiplying with all the factors, if we take uh, let's say that that will be the common. Uh, and this two is the denominator. So we are just uh, arranging them. We are taking them just uh, just at at first. And then this one and this one get added that will be 2 minus cos 2a and minus cos 2b so these two terms have minus common that's why we have written minus and then we keep cos 2a and cos 2b inside the bracket so this plus comes from multiplication of the sign that is whenever minus sign is taken common then minus and this minus will become plus so this will remain same until now in the next step if you see cos 2a plus cos 2b that is in this form that is cos c plus cos d so if we have cos c plus cos d 
we can write that in this form 2 cos c plus d by 2 into cos c minus d by 2 so same thing we'll be doing in the next step uh, for, for for these two terms these two factors so 1 by 2 that will remain same this 2 is same uh, copied from above and minus it is also same and finally we will we will change these two uh, terms in this form and we will be writing 2 cos so in place of c we will write 2a and in place of d we will write 2b because that is what we have here in place of c and d so uh, following that formula we have written 2a plus 2b by 2 and 2a minus 2b by 2 here this one is copied same and in the next step now we can take common in this number and this number so we have two common uh, in this whole part and uh, this one the single number so uh, taking two common out we have we, uh, it remains one here and uh, rest cos and again you can see uh, in the angle inside the bracket 2 is common so we take again 2 common from angles also and a plus b remains inside the bracket the same thing happens here 2 is common a and minus b will remain um, from uh, from this part this one will be copied same now you can cancel out this 2 and 2 so if this get cancelled out then this one no need to write finally 1 minus and the rest of the parts remains and that can be written as 1 minus cos a plus b into cos a minus b and this one is copied same now after this this minus cos a plus b can be converted into cos c so that means if it is plus cos a plus b then we can write minus cos c but if it is minus here then we can write plus cos c so that means we have minus cos a plus b here so we will be writing plus cos c and this cos a minus b is copied same now we will change sin square c as 1 minus cos square c because this is one of the simplest formula that we have learned at the beginning class of trigonometry now this one and this one when added that can be written as 2 cos c from here and cos c from here the remaining factor uh, is common and cos a minus b remains in this part and again one cos c remains here so uh, taking out cos c from these two factors we get cos a minus b and minus cos c inside the bracket now after this step again this minus cos c so we will reverse this process here we have done we will reverse the process this minus cos c can be written as so if you again see this step if it is minus cos c then you can write plus cos a plus b so that's what we will be writing here plus cos a plus b and rest of the factors are same now if you observe this part inside the bracket it is cos a minus b plus cos a plus b again that that is a formula that we have studied cos a plus b plus cos a minus b and that can be converted into 2 cos a into cos b so same thing we will be doing in the next step that is 2 cos a into cos b one thing i want to clear you out here here we have a and b again a and b so the same angles we are writing here the complete angle if it would be a by 2 and b by 2 here then we, we would be writing a by 2 and b by 2 but that is not the case here so it is a and b 
so we'll be writing 2 cos a into cos b following the same table or the same formula now finally you are close to the answer now after this step you can write this two same plus same and this two is written at first and uh, what remains cos a into cos b into cos c or copy it from above so uh, this is the thing that we need to prove in this question so we get left hand side is equals to the right hand side here so i hope now i have clearly explained every steps uh, and i hope you have understood this question if you get completely satisfied with this video please don't forget to share to your needy friends have a nice day ahead thank you again